Good morning and welcome to another virtual children's chapel and happy Mother's Day to all of you moms out there. Let's go ahead and get started by lighting our candles. And then, because it is a special day, I'm gonna teach you a special song that you all can sing to your mom um, or any special loved one, really. You could always change the words if you'd like. Um, and this can just help you show them how special they are to you. So before we sing, I'm gonna teach you a couple of new signs to go with this song. So the song goes like this. It goes, I love mommy, I love mommy. Yes, I do, yes, I do. All I want to say is happy Mother's Day. I love you, I love you. So the signs we need to learn are love, and many of you know that from Jesus Loves Me. So that's like this, love. Mommy, this is mommy or mother. Um, yes, it's like this. Um, the next one we need to do is say. So we're gonna touch under our mouths where we talk, say. Happy, this is happy. Mother, again, we knew that one already. Mother's day. And then we're gonna end the song with the special sign for I love you. Okay, let's try that together. I love mommy, I love mommy. Yes, I do, yes, I do. All I want to say is happy Mother's Day. I love you, I love you. Great job. And as I said, you can practice this song and sing it to your moms or other special loved ones today, and I'm sure they'll really appreciate it. All right, now I have something special to show you. It's a little house. Let me open it up and show you what's inside. There are lots of rooms in this house. There's a little bedroom and a kitchen a living room, even a little baby's room or playroom. My kids love playing with this house. Um, and I do too, it's a really fun toy. But why do you think I got this out to show you today? Well, it's because for today's Bible story, we are going to be talking about God's house. Before we go any farther with that, I want you to close your eyes. All right, now I want you to think about some of your very favorite places. Mm. One of my favorite places is the beach. I also love visiting the zoo and the library. School might be one of your favorite places. Church might be one of your favorite places. Um, and things are a little hard right now because we can't go to many of our favorite places, can we? But we're all spending a lot of time in another one of my favorite places, which is my house. And I bet your house is one of your favorite places too. Houses are special because they're where we spend time with our loved ones and we keep most of our favorite things in our houses, right? Well, again, today we're gonna to be talking about God's house. So let's do a little prayer together and then I'll read you the story. So here we go. Dear God, thank you for our favorite places. Thanks for your house with a place just for me. Amen. All right, now I'm gonna get out my story Bible. And many of you may have received a copy of this in the mail recently. Um, if you regularly attend Sunday School at St. David's, we sent your Bibles home to you. These, you, We would be giving these to you at the end of the um, Sunday School year anyway, um, but we just decided to give them to you a little bit earlier so you could enjoy them, them at home and follow along with me as we do our Sunday School online. So if you have this, you're welcome to get it out now. 
Um, those of you in the older class, your Bible looks a little bit different, but um, you can follow along in yours as well. If you're reading the Story Bible, we're going to be on page 448. Um, if anyone else is listening and watching and you didn't get a Bible, please email us if you'd like one. You can contact me at lizzie at stdavidsdc.org and we'd be happy to get you one. All right. So this story on page 448 is called God's House. You can see in the picture, there's a house. And that is what some of Jesus' disciples imagine God's house to look like. So let's read God's House. Jesus taught his disciples many things. Don't be sad or worried, he said. Believe in God and in me. God's house in heaven is so big that everyone can have a room. I'm going there to get your rooms ready. Later, I'll come back to take you to God's house. You know the way to where I'm going. Thomas and Peter, oh, sorry, Thomas and Philip looked confused. What way do you mean, they asked. Jesus said, I'm the way to know God. Because you know me, you know God too. I've taught you about life with God and the good things God wants you to do. Pray, ask me for anything, and I'll help you do it. Thomas and Philip smiled. We can follow you and do what you ask us to do. You are our way to heaven. We can live in God's house too. So isn't that wonderful? God's ha house has a room for each and every one of us. I wonder, what do you think God's house looks like? That would be a great thing to talk with your families about today. No one really knows what God's house looks like, but it's said to be the most amazing, most incredible place that we can't even imagine it. So talk to your families today about what you think that might be like. Let's end together by saying a prayer. Dear God, thanks for a place in God's place. Amen. Thank you all so much for joining me. Have a wonderful week.